Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we will be installing Nextcloud on the Zimmer board and we'll also be using Cloudflare so we can access it over the internet. Now to bring you up to speed if you haven't watched the other two videos, we've kind of had a, a bit of a quick overview in the first episode of the Zimmer board and how it's used and what we can um, use it for. It's a awesome x86 based architecture single board and we've added a one terabyte SSD to it via SATA connection as well, which is awesome. So I really recommend watching those two previous videos so you can get up to speed on where we're at. And all the other things that we're going to cover in this video, like Cloudflare and Nextcloud, I also have dedicated videos on them as well. They will be a link in the description for those, so you can also get up to speed with how Cloudflare works and why we're using it. And also Nextcloud if you're keen on the install, but we'll kind of be covering most of the install here as well. So what you're looking at here is actually the Casa OS dashboard. Again, uh, covered those in the previous Zimmer board videos, and I also have a dedicated video on that as well. But uh, it's just a nice dashboard that we can track all the containers and stuff running on here, the Zimmer board. And also uh, I've got shortcuts connecting to the Raspberry Pi as well, uh, just because it's like an all-in-one dashboard, which is really cool. So the only thing I actually have running on this machine at the moment is Cloudflare. So I've already set up the tunnel. Again, that was covered in another video. So if you're keen on watching how that's set up, go watch that video. Uh, but I've already set that tunnel up. I will be setting up the private, uh, the public host names to be able to connect to Nextcloud over the internet. So I'll still be doing that section in this video. But the, this setup is all done. So what we're going to do is we're going to be installing Nextcloud, not via the App Store here, because I want a dedicated database where the App Store one here, if we have a look, uh, and for Nextcloud, if you go to install this, it just still installs Nextcloud itself. Uh, you'll still have to set up a database individually or just use the internal SQLite. Uh, and I don't want to use that. I am thinking long term here. So uh, I want a database that can stand the test of time, essentially. So we'll be using Docker Compose instead. So for us to do that, all we have to do is SSH into our Zimmer box and we can get it all set up. So here we are on the Zimmer box or SSH into it. And what I've done is I've created a folder called Nextcloud in my uh, SSD storage one, which is where my SSD is mounted to. So what we're going to do is in here, add a Docker Compose file. And that Docker Compose file is based off of this here. So what we're going to be installing is the database itself, which is MirrorDB, and then an app as well, which is Nextcloud. Uh, sorry, that's the wrong one. It's this one here. And you can see that when we create the database, uh, we set all the environment variables and we plug those environment variables into Nextcloud. And that means we don't even have to configure the database when we set this up. When we set up our user, the database should already connect itself during the install period and we shouldn't have to manage any um, database connections uh, via the Nextcloud install. If it does ask you for database stuff, it normally means your connection is an issue with it and you need to fix it somewhere. Because yeah, it shouldn't ask you for any of that and we'll show you that in a second. So uh, you also want to make sure you change your volumes. My volumes are set up uh, to create a volumes folder in the directory I'm in. So if you have a solid state or an external hard drive or wherever your storage is, make sure that you are mapping that volume to that storage. Right? Otherwise, it's just going to make a folder called uh, Nextcloud and DB in the root directory of your whatever you're running and that might not be where you want your volume. So I've already made all those details. I'm not going to open up the Docker Compose file because there's passwords and stuff in there. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So uh, all we have to do, sudo docker compose, yeah. uh, up, hyphen D, explain this command a thousand times, docker compose saying there's a docker compose file in this directory, stand everything up that's in it and run it in detach mode. So if I close the prompt, it doesn't close the docker containers. That's all that's doing. Hit enter, I already have these images pulled so I don't have to worry about that. And it just stands everything up just like that. Um, all we have to do now is hit it on port 8080. Uh, we go to McNugget on port uh, 8080. McNugget is what I've decided to call my Zimmer box. So uh, I actually got a domain, McNugget.xyz. We'll be using that for this video. Uh, I just think it's funny, so I'm using it. Here we are. So this is the next cloud setup. And you see me just breezing through this, and it really is a straightforward. As soon as you understand Docker uh, and how the compose files and stuff work, it really can be the seamless. So generally what would happen here is once I enter in my username and password, it would normally ask me to then set up the database. But if we've got the database connection properly set up, set up 
uh, it should make that connection by itself. So fingers crossed, and um, yeah, it should connect to the MariaDB database for us. Also, while that's installing, and if you're still watching at this point, you're probably quite interested and you haven't clicked off straight away. Uh, if you could subscribe, if you haven't, I think about like 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. <laughs> so if we can at least bump that up to 80% not subscribed, that, that would be better than yeah 90% not subscribed uh, who are regularly watching my videos. So uh, that would be fantastic if you could do that. Thank you. And there we go. So it's going to ask me if I want to install the recommended apps. And since this is going to be like a long-term install of this, I'm probably going to use a fair few of these. So yeah, why not? Install the recommended apps. That'd be great. And we'll just let it do its thing. Um, and I guess we'll be back. I really like um, Nextcloud Talk. This is really great. Um, like self-hosted chat and it supports the app as well you can download an app on your phone and then connect it to your self-hosted nextcloud instance and you got your own like private um chat which is awesome uh if you don't want to use things like whatsapp and messenger and stuff like that so yeah make your own little private family chat or even since you know you plug in the cloud and you can have people from wherever connect and as long as i've got an account to your nextcloud right they can yeah jump on talking chat and video call and all that good stuff so yeah right that was enough talking to get through that <laughs> uh right so uh this is just the intro stuff i've seen this a billion times so i'm going to close out of it and we now have nextcloud installed if we go down here to administrator settings and scroll right to the bottom and click system we should see that we have size 900 gig so that's on the correct storage is what I wanted to check. So that's great. It's using my SSD. So within how long have I been recording? Around eight minutes. Uh, we have set up Nextcloud locally and we can connect to it. But we want to connect to this over the internet. So um, I'll show you something really quick. If I grab the IP address and I grab that IP address and I make a new tab and paste that in there and we go 8080. We get this error so what we need to do is actually edit the trusted domain setting um in the config file for uh nextcloud and allow the actual domain name that i'm going to connect to so let's go edit that document so uh we go into volumes uh nextcloud ls change directory into config and we'll do a sudo nano on the config.php uh, I probably won't be able to show you much of this. I'll try to blur out because there's a lot of like secret values in here. The trusted domains, all we need to do is come down here. I think that's right. Yep. Great. Save. Close. Awesome. And then we'll just do an ls. Cool. And now we can do a sudo docker container. Restart. No, not DB. It's app. There we go. So that should have restarted the app now. So if we come back here, oh, I didn't add the local. I should have added the local one as well to confirm that it works. Let's do that as well, just really quick. Come back. Do some refreshes. Here we go. So now that port's working. So that should be the same now for when we connect the public domain. So if we go back here and go to zero trust, we can now go access tunnels and we'll add the public uh, tunnel here. Host name and it's called Nextcloud on the McNugget on HTTP 2.168.112 uh, on port 8080. I think it's HTTPS I can use. It might have to be HTTP. Oh, sorry. I think it's HTTP I can use. I don't know if it has to be yes or not. We'll find out if this doesn't work. We'll save. And now let's try hit it. Bam. Look at that. Over the, over the internet. <laughs> it really is that easy um, to set that all up so if we go now uh with my account that i made if i can remember the password it'd be embarrassing if i forgot what the password was 
Oh, there's also a fix for this. If you get a stuck login, login screen, um, there's a file you edit in the config as well. Uh, let's see if I can find that really quick. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, sorry, I was, I was trying to find <laughs> that. Uh, so here, so you can see that the overwrite CLI URL here on this line, uh, it's pointing to the old um, local one. So what we need to do is actually change that to point to our new address. So, uh, da, 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 and it's running on HTTPS thanks to Cloudflare. So it's nextcloud.nugget.xyz. Save that, close under that. Uh, restart the app. There we go. Okay, great. So, um, that took a while though, for some good reason. Um, that's fine. So, what we've got now is, yeah, we have our next cloud set up, running in the cloud, and if you want, you could probably hit this as well, because uh, it'll still be up. I haven't put it behind a single sign-on yet, and I probably don't know if I want to. I uh, next cloud should be good enough to handle this um next should be good enough to handle um being exposed to the public internet like this i probably just need to install some things um on the container well sorry on the zimmer board to stop like constant attacks and stuff like that where it will um pretty much automatically ban people fail to ban i believe it's called uh so i'll probably check that on but yeah that is pretty much me installing nextcloud on the Zimmer box using Docker Compose and Cloudflare and I think that was in like less than 20 minutes or something like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll make more videos as we install more things on the Zimmer box. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment all the stuff, what I did right, what I didn't write, do right. Yeah, all of that stuff. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.